Well, thanks for joining us on today's Community Connection. I'm Jason Laird, joined by Nicole Evans, Curator of Art at Paris Gibson Square Museum of Art. And fall and winter, we've got some pretty cool exhibits coming to the museum. Uh, talk a little bit about some of those exhibits and what people will experience going into the fall and winter months. Well, currently we have our fall exhibition schedule that does run into winter. Okay. And, through, and that runs through January. So... The exhibition that we have now that will be closing by November 20th is VSA Montana mm -hmm. Annual Arts Exhibition called From My Perspective. And this exhibition is particularly interesting because it's done by um, students with special needs, adults with special needs, okay. who experience art and thus the title of the exhibition From My Perspective. So there's photography, there's mosaics, there's other forms of artwork too, uh, melted glass and... Um, uh, photography as well. Right, so pretty much every discipline it seems like in that yes. term. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then following that we have a few, a collection of other exhibitions in our rotating exhibition schedule. We have Dana Berardinis, uh, Forgotten Lands, and her work focuses on the uh, conservation of Montana's wetlands. Okay. So they are large-scale contemporary artworks that are composed of acrylic paintings, prints and uh, drawings as well. And that exhibition closes um, mid-January. Okay. We also have um, a couple more exhibitions that come through the Montana Art Gallery Directors Association traveling gotcha. exhibits. Interesting. So, I mean, mm -hmm. you guys really have quite a, you know, plethora of different exhibits coming through just in yes. the next couple of months even. Yes, we do. Right mm -hmm. on. And talk a little bit about, um, you know, still a ways out, but fundraising coming up here in the very near future. Kind of talk a little bit about that campaign and the, the goal behind it. Yes, we have a fundraiser coming up in February, and that will be called uh, chefs, champagne, and art. Okay. And Say it that is, four times yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right? Exactly, but it's exactly what it is. It's right about on. chefs in a, a culinary competition. Okay. Where they use champagne to produce different types of food. Interesting. And so we hope to have competitors from the community, from different restaurants, uh, major chefs in the commu community. Right on. And it is supported by. Um, our museum in collaboration with people such as Rhonda Atkins from Pizzazz. Wow. And we hope to include um, Malmstrom Air Force Base as well and um, uh, the high school students to perform in the competition as well. And potentially, we never know, maybe even some of the culinary programs at the University of Montana as well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And for maybe folks who've, who've never made it out to the museum, you know, what, what's kind of the atmosphere like and, and what can they expect, especially going into some of these exhibits this fall? Well, it's a very lovely atmosphere. Okay, the museum was founded in 1977 by uh, community artists and activists. Inside the museum, you will experience the world of an 1890s high school. Wow. <laughs> so it's in a historic building. Right. For, um, founded by Paris Gibson, who is the founder of Great Falls. Right. And uh, you will also be able to, like we say at the square, see the art and make the art. Wow. So if you want to come see the art, you can also come and make the art in our studio art classes. Fantastic. Which, by the way, the schedule for sign up is coming up soon for the winter classes. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. Again, curator with Paris Gibson Square Museum. Hope to see all of you out at some of these different exhibits coming up. And again, all those details will be on your screen.